Hello and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing another unboxing of the Witch's Moon box. This is for the February of 2023. It's been a while since I've done a video uh, unboxing one of these in front of the video as opposed to the overhead. So let me know what you guys like, what you prefer, if you like one over the other. Let me go ahead and just open this up really quick. We'll see what we've got this month. Okay. There we have it. Which is Moonbox. And all right. Let's see if I can oh, it's in there pretty tight. Let's go ahead and just see what the oracle card is for the month. That is such a pretty backing. It says, open to possibility. The whole world is before you. What a beautiful card. Love that. All right, and let's take a quick peek what the theme is. It says, the will of a witch. As the comfort of winter dreams begin to fade, we are faced with our most crucial moment yet. The, to capture the essence of growth and transformation that is gifted to us during this important season. Just as the sun continues to grow above the endless skies, our potential for life-changing momentum and change are here for the taking. It is at this time that we are clear about the work that we are doing, filling our purpose with true and potent intention. This is the time for action, for progress, for elevation, for commitment. We focus on fully embracing the endless opportunities that unfold before us during this magical time of year. In this exclusive and inspired collection, we provide a set of unique tools to foster your personal and powerful will so that your path may be brimming with intentionality and abundantly filled with real manifestation. I cast my intentions to the spirit sea. May the waves of manifestation forever find me. G. Ibis, the magical items in this box are as follows. So I'm not gonna peek because I like to be surprised. So let's go ahead and take a look at what we've got. So it looks like we have a sigil here and it states, I cast my intentions to the spirit sea. May the waves of manifestation forever find me. So that was the saying on the top of the letter there. Very pretty, love those. Okay, and we've got some artwork here. Spirits of Prosperity. And it has a lot of different beings and deity listed. So all the prosperity spirits. Very pretty. Always love the artwork and the sigils we get in this box. Okay, and this one looks like it's going to make a mess, but we'll see what we've got in here. Just going to go ahead and throw it down here. Okay, looks like we have some tea this month. Ooh, apricot alley. I love apricots. And of course, a muslin bag to go with it. smells like a like an apricot cobbler almost it's got such a nice smell to it I don't know if you can see the see if I can show you how pretty that is isn't that pretty it looks like it's got some apricot in there and some other things I'm not sure 
We'll have to check it out in the paperwork in a little bit. Calendula petals. That is so funny. I literally just yesterday bought this huge bag of um, calendula for tea because I just felt like I need to start drinking that as a tea. And how funny that we got it in the box this month. I guess it's going to be an herb I'm working with or flower, I should say. Kitty's on the floor playing with these little paper noodles. Okay, got a nice little box here. Ooh, it's a necklace. Let me pull it out so I can show you. It's got the four element symbols. Very nice. Okay, I'll read the back to you in a second. Let me show you how pretty that is. Very nice. It says, career success with fire, water, earth, and air by the four points of the compass squares. Power to success in my career. Complete success fills my sphere. So mode it be. I love that. Definitely gonna be using that. Okay. And looks like we have some salt here. Spirit swelling sacred salt. Let's see what it smells like. I always love their oils and their salts and everything. It just smells so good. Oh yeah. Mmm. I don't know what that scent is exactly but actually you can kind of see through the packaging it's really pretty it's got some several different it looks like there's at least three different things in there herb wise and some oils it smells really good Ooh, let's see what this is this looks like a cloth you guys oh it is look at the color of that isn't that gorgeous It's so pretty. It feels very silky. There we go. Oh, very nice. Check this out. Isn't that pretty? Oh, I love that. Very nice. That is gorgeous. Let me flip that back up never have too many of these little altar cloths. Let's go ahead and open this big item. Let's see what this is. It's pretty heavy. I want to be careful with it. It's very heavy. Let's see if we can we just set it down and I'm going to bust it plastic started here. I'm not quite sure what this is. This is really... Oh, it looks like a tea light holder, maybe a candle holder. That's very nice. It's got a nice wide opening there. It's definitely bigger than just a regular size tea light. If you've ever seen those huge jumbo tea lights, that's the, about the size it reminds me of. It's a beautiful stone. Okay. Let's see what else we have in here. We have some, ooh, it's a spray. I'm loving the sprays lately. I just can't get enough of the rooms and aura sprays. Road opener. Very good. Let's see what this smells like. Looks like they pre-cut the little tube as well, so that's good. Mm, maybe citrusy? Let's see. I'm gonna go ahead and spray a little bit of it behind me. Let's see what that smells like. 
Ooh, mm, it smells like it's got some lemongrass in there and maybe some citrus. Um, it's a very refreshing, bright smelling scent. Nice road opener. Mm, I'm gonna love that. I don't think that's gonna last very long. I'm gonna use that up, I can just tell. All right, and we have some, ooh, copal. Copal incense, I do love copal. It's one of my favorites, actually. Yeah. Oh, it's got that nice copal smell to it. So, always get a good amount of incense sticks. And I think we have a candle. I'll go ahead and put this down on the floor. up here. Now this has a nice flat surface in here so you could even melt the bottom of your candle and stick it on there to stand up because it's got nice, it's got a nice flat surface on that uh, candle holder there. Cut the tape on this. That is some good tape they used. There we go. Ooh, it's a thick, chunky candle, too. And tell it. Ooh. Look how chunky this thing is. It's like double the size of the usual thickness of their candles. Mm, I love the smell of beeswax. I can't get enough of that. Mm. Beautiful gold candle. And yes, it could very easily, if you melt it, you know, nicely, it would stick in there and be a nice flat surface for the candle to sit in. I'm going to go ahead and just lay that like this for y'all with this gorgeous altar cloth. It's absolutely beautiful. No, I don't want to get the wax on there. Let's see if I can set some of this up for you all to see. And look at while we're reading through the information. Okay. And so many goodies in here. I don't know if I can fit it all on top of here. Uh, let's see here. Is one of the benefits, I suppose, of doing the overhead is you guys have something more to look at while I'm reading the information. But Anyways, I don't think I can get the artwork, so I'm just going to show you guys the artwork again real quick so you can see how pretty that is. And then I'll just go ahead and read through the information for anybody who's interested in that. All right, let's take a look at what we've got here. Okay, so it is an exclusive white honey onyx candle holder. Very nice. That candle holder is actually a gemstone with a honey onyx. Commonly referred to as the sibling of marble, onyx carries many names including, but not limited to, onyx marble, Egyptian alabaster, and Mexican onyx. When globalists glance at a slab of onyx, they refer to it as banded calcite. In its most natural form and color, onyx is found with a warm white honey hue traveling through its iron-rich surface. Unlike granite, granite and quartzite, which are formed deep within the Earth's crust, onyx is found and materialized right on the surface. In a beautiful natural cycle, spring water or groundwater that contains an abundance of calcite is washed over and over and throughout time onyx is formed. When sliced or slabbed you can find a variety of shapes, bands, and patterns revealing several thousand years of manifestation. Interestingly enough the word onyx comes from the Greek word claw for its natural white and honey color. Onyx has a deep and rich history, one which has 
appeared in ancient Rome and ancient Egypt. A wonderfully tranquil and peaceful stone, onyx reduces stress and brings about an overall sense of well-being and security. We personally love to include onyx within our working altar areas as it helps us to ease anxieties, provide vitality, and sharpen our concentration for the task at hand. You will quickly find that your breathing manages to slow, your nervous system starts to relax, and a sense of inspiration and hope begins to fill your spiritual vessel. This very sacred time is now abundantly filled with a sense of self-control and firm intent. This is the time of year for growth, transformation, and the calling upon of abundance and prosperity. Now is the very time to lean on these energies to bring new opportunities into your realm. Rely on this onyx candle holder when you are writing in your book of shadows by candlelight, setting your intentions, creating spells, or simply crafting spell work. We have ethically sourced this beautiful onyx to be made into this exclusive candle holder that now accompanies your altar. We made this decision to include a larger area for you to place your candle in to ensure most pillar candles will stand nicely. If you use a smaller candle with this holder, simply refer to the instructions in the description of the spell candle included within this collection. We truly hope that this beautiful stone will accompany you through the many years of creating, crafting, and manifesting your truest intent. And we have Freya here. She might pop her head in to say hello. And then we have the large intention casting hand rolled and anointed beeswax spell candle. We have hand rolled and anointed this candle with the purpose of bolstering your in intentional impact during your ritual work. Oh, silly girl. Um, as you allow this flame of this candle to dance before you, concentrate on where you are, what you are doing, and the deepest reason for its importance. During this time, write down your intentions, your shortcomings, your accomplishments. Be specific on the blessings, prosperity, and abundance you wish to see in the coming months. Before you begin, work to create the energy that you intend to surround you during ritual. This can include cleaning, cleansing, and setting the tone for the purpose ritual. We always recommend being comfortable within your space so that you may speak or sing words clearly out loud, enhancing your intentional energy. This candle has been enchanted with ginger and orange oils, as well as our open door magical anointing oil from our personal cabinet of witchery. If you are unable to use a candle holder that might fit this candle, place over a plate or offering dish in which you would like to burn your candle, placing flame to the bottom of the candle. Allow the wax to form a puddle. Quickly place your candle in the upright position in the middle of the puddle and hold for a few seconds. This technique will allow you to burn your candle on any surface. Always use caution when burning any candle, keeping water close and using a fireproof container. And then there is the Triple Moon Pentacle Ritual Altar Cloth. We have chosen to include a gold altar cloth within this collection to bring about the energies of abundance, prosperity, and manifestation. This cloth is perfect for laying out tarot oracle cards, wrapping sacred items, or simply placing beneath your ritual tools as you use them. Within the design of this altar cloth, you will find the triple moon and the pentacle, an extremely empathetic symbol and the maiden representing 
youth, creativity, and openness, the mother representing fertility, patience, understanding, and power, the crone is one of the more powerful aspects representing knowledge, wisdom, and acceptance. These divine feminine qualities remind us to call upon our personal power and intuition to overcome and accomplish important tasks. In addition, the pentacle has been placed within the moon representing your magical connection with the elements and how they correspond with all aspects of existence. This altar cloth is made from 100% polyester and should be hand washed within cold water. And then we have the Cast My Intentions Book of Shadows Sigil Reference Artwork. This exclusive sigil and mantra have been created for this very collection. You will find the following mantra with the sigil of growth and transformation. I cast my intentions to the spirit sea. May the waves of manifestation forever find me. Near the bottom center of the print, you will find our prosperity sigil. Feel free to use these sigils in the creation of talismans or any other magical imbued object in your practice. Created by G. Ibis, illustrated by A. E. Alden, and not for resale, do not make copies. And there is the exclusive Career Success Talismanic Spell Coin Pendant by Christopher Pensack. Christopher Pensack is a witch teacher, writer, and healing practitioner. His practice draws upon the foundation of both modern and traditional witchcraft blended with the wisdom of mystical traditions from across the globe. As a practitioner and teacher of shamanism, tarot, reiki, healing, herbalism, astrology, and Kabbalah, this powerful spell coin has been turned into a pendant for this very collection. This spell coin and the design inscribed upon it represents our ability to attract abundance and prosperity into our lives. This can be accomplished through career or simply any pursuit that brings inspiration and purpose into your life. Inscribed upon the back of this coin is the following affirmation. With fire, water, earth, and air by the four points of the compass square, power to success in my career, complete success fills my sphere. So mote it be. Uh, then we have the Spirits of Prosperity Book of Shadows artwork. Created exclusively for this very collection, this beautiful and inspired Spirits of Prosperity Book of Shadows artwork provides a fundamental list of spirits that can aid and assist you towards a life of abundance and prosperity. Keep this print within your Book of Shadows for reference or display in your sacred space. Written and illustrated by A.E. Alden. Do not make copies, not for resale. Then they have the Road Opener Spray. Um, it says here that we are thrilled to be able to introduce our Road Opener Ritual or a Spray within this special collection created with the intention of attracting opportunities and breaking down barriers this spray is a perfect companion during the months of growth ahead we recommend using this aura spray while starting complicated and difficult tasks before a job interview while working through rituals of prosperity magic as you spray this elixir throughout your surroundings visualize a golden glow beginning to surround you we have created this aura spray with the oils of orange, peppermint, lavender, lemongrass, and a special mixture of our attraction, magical oil from our personal cabinet of witchery. Shake well before using. Be cautious when using this spray, as some may be more sensitive than others. Start by spraying in the air three to four feet away from you, external use only. Then there is the Apricot Ritual Herbal Tea. I can't wait to try it. It smells amazing. 
um, a wonderfully warm and stimulating blend, this Apricot Alley Ritual Herbal Tea has been placed within this collection to cultivate the energies of contemplation and inspiration. This ritual herbal tea has been created with marigold petals, cinnamon chips, and dried apricot. As you sip this calming blend before or after rituals of intention, allow its energies to conjure emotions of excitement and eagerness. Approximately one tablespoon of tea for eight ounces of water, discretion and taste to determine brewing times and general amounts. Calendula petals. Calendula or marigold originated in Mediterranean areas, Europe and some parts of Asia, being named after the first day of the month, Calends, when they were noted to bloom, an overall symbol of joy and happiness. Calendula was used in many ancient ceremonies, including the Romans and Greeks making garlands of the flowers to celebrate. This beautiful radiant flower assumes the full sun position and prefers to bask in its light and warmth. As you work with this herb, allow this radiant energy to pass through you so that you may also bask in the illumination of the sun. Dress your candles with this herb, including included, include within magical sachets or simply incorporate into your altars of growth and transition. Planetary association is sun, elemental association is fire, and it is included for ritual and external use only. Then we have the Spirit Swelling Ritual Sacred Salt. This very special ritual sacred salt blend has been created to bring a sense of inspiration and excitement to your spiritual workings. In this easy to get stuck, oh, it is easy to get stuck in a cycle, cyclic battle of stagnant emotions. Allowing this blend to relax your thoughts and in turn foster the energies of newness and revitalization. These practices are essential for this time of year as growth and transformation are on the horizon. As you work with these magical ingredients, take the time to feel as comfortable as possible, relaxing your mind and body. Visualize your life filled with fresh perspectives, new experiences, and emotional gratitudes. We have enchanted this sacred salt with lemon, white tea, and bergamot oils, as well as lemon balm and blue cornflower herbs. We have also included a special mixture of our Cosmic Radiance Magical Oil from our personal cabinet of witchery in the making of the sacred salt. If bath is unavailable, steep bath salt in a bowl of warm water and wash over skin to benefit from the energies within, external use only. And then we have the Copal Ritual Incense Sticks. As you allow the smoke from the ritual incense to waft throughout your sacred space, allow its cleansing energies to be used as a purifier or ritual offering. Burn this ritual incense as you write, paint, or craft. You will find that a sense of positivity has slowly engulfed the room and sparked inspiration for your work. And then they included the personalized oracle reading. We have meditated and selected a card from the Secret Language of Your Soul Oracle Deck by Ina Siegel to place inside your box. This card and the message that is represented was meant for you. Take the time to reflect on the wisdom that it holds. Know that there is a specific reason you have received this card. Allow these affirmations to guide your day and bring purpose to your concentration. Some questions that, wait a minute lost my place. Sorry about that. 
some questions that should be asked in relation to the card received are how does each aspect of this card make me feel? What connections can I see between the image and my body, life, and self? What is the card alluding to about my past, present, or future well-being? I love that they included some questions in there for the card. That's really nice touch. Um, Book of Shadows, blank parchment paper. They always include a nice blank sheet of parchment paper. Um, we believe in writing down your intentions and goals pushes you further in accomplishing them. We have added an additional piece of paper to the back of this ledger for you to write down your intentions before your rituals so that you may add it to your own personal book of shadows. We recommend revisiting these intentions at the conclusion of a full moon cycle so to see what lessons have been learned or to determine progress made. As you perform your rituals, do not set expectations. Cast your intentions and be of pure heart and mind. These very personal moments are for you. There is so much knowledge available to you. Take pleasure in knowing that you are in control of your future and the blessings that it holds. Open yourself to receive these beautiful gifts. May your intentions never be lost on the winds of fate. Speak and live. You are creator and creation. Your life is craft. Your supple body molded by word, sculpted by desire, fired by deed. You poise yourself between life and fate, the will of God's, in the beat of a heart, the suck of a breath, you are the universe making, making, making. Awakening Osiris, Egyptian Book of the Dead translation, Normandy Ellis. The Witch's Moon, uh, The Will of a Witch, February 23, GMS. Love it, as always such a beautiful box. If you guys have stuck with me this long, thank you so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed that video and I will see you all next time. Have a great day.